new fridge and washing machine was just delivered. I feel like I'm a real adult now that I own a fridge. Woohoo! We have the washing machine going. They just sort of started it, but there it is. We've got nothing to wash in it, but if I did, I could. The most satisfying moment. New fridge. <laughs> Peel porn. Oh, this one's not as nice. Hold on a second. Here it is. <laughs> Ta da! We have the freezer. Ice maker. Hi guys, I've just gotten home from work, so I probably look like a right state. I apologize for that, but I am in the apartment because I need to film a couple of quick clips. Uh, one of them being a shot of the chairs that I bought because I forgot to do that when I was filming the homewares hauls that I did. That should be already up by now. If not, I will pop a little link up on this, this, the screen for you guys so you can check that out. But for the next kind of apartment decor, update I thought I would just vlog little bits because I am just gonna get things randomly I do have a toaster and kettle coming that I purchased because they were on sale and I know the rug that I've ordered has been shipped so I thought I would just vlog when I get those little things and show you them as I get them you can see actually this, these blue marks on the floor is like tape from me like marking out where the rug would potentially go because I wasn't sure about sizing. Anywho, you don't care about that. I need to duck to the shops because I need to pick up uh, a basket that I had ordered click and collect for the uh, cactus over here. I'm trying to point and yet I can't do that. It's like backwards. Anyway, but before I do that, I have a couple of little bags from H&M, specifically H&M Home, and I thought I would just quickly show you guys what's inside them. <laughs> So I did go into H&M Home today and they had a bunch of stuff in an interesting colorway. It was a lot of blush, kind of warmy pink tones, rust, and then maroon. And I already have this cushion here, which is from Kmart. And this is an old one from Freedom, which I never really planned to be on the lounge. I just brought it over from home because it was one that I wasn't currently using on my bed there. But anyway, I decided to pick up uh, a couple of cushion covers just to see if I could add a little bit more color and see if this is the direction that I wanted to go. As you can see, this one was on sale, $24.99 down to $10. I believe this kind of rusty velvet kind of feeling one is $12.99. Can't stand the feel of that, but I love the look out of it. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies just touching it. And then I did see, I saw this blanket first and you can also see, also on sale, uh, 59 down to 30. And this kind of had these colors through it. It had this warmy pink tone. It had kind of a, a plummy tone. It had like a, just a nice neutral white kind of color, which is what I was originally looking at. I was looking for sort of a natural white and a black to go on here. So these are what I've picked up for now. I'm not 100% sure how I'll go, but I did really like them and then I fell in love with this. I do not need any more pots. This is dangerous. But I just walked in and I saw this and I saw this color and I saw it. It was kind of near some brass pots as well and they just looked really nice together. This wasn't on sale unfortunately. It's $24.99. I probably should have waited until it went on sale but I don't go into H&M Home that much because it's not one near me. So I decided to pick that one up. The color's not really showing up true to life. Let me try and go into a different light maybe. There we are, that's a bit more natural light. It's kind of like a warm, dusty blush pink. It's really hard to describe, but I really liked that one. So those are the few little bits and pieces that I picked up from H&M Home and I'll show you guys once I work out how I'm gonna style them. Ooh, I've just realized that this could totally go in here, can it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, it does, look at that. Well, there's an option, even though I've, I already picked a basket for you, but maybe 
I might change my mind about that, I might switch things up a bit. I do really like that color. I was worried about pink being a bit too girly and I I am not, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not a girly girl, but I don't necessarily like my space to be overly girly. So I was hesitant about the pink, but I'm feeling good about these choices. I really am. Just me again, while it may seem like no time has passed at all, I did actually go to the shops. I took the seagrass basket back to Big W, got a refund on that, used that to buy myself a new umbrella because the weather has been terrible and my colleague broke my current umbrella. And I picked up these baskets, two of them. These are the basket bargains of a century. I've got to tell you guys this story. I was in Maya the other day, just sort of checking out some of their specials and I saw these baskets and they were being used to display a whole bunch of stuff. And I thought, oh, this small one, because they were sort of separate and now I can't get these apart, might work really well for my cactus. I could prop the cactus up so it would be a little bit taller. I liked the texture of this. It sort of brings in more of those natural elements that I like. Oh, this is just not coming out. Um, and I thought it would work. So I looked for a tag, couldn't find it anywhere. This is ridiculous. Um, I could find a tag on the big one though, and it said $129 and I was like, no, 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 no. That is ridiculous. I figured if this one was 129, then this one would have to be probably like $70, which is just too much. Then I kind of thought, okay, maybe they're a pair. Since everyone I found only had the tag on the big one. And then I saw them stacked together. I thought, nope, still $129 for two, too much, too much, Rachel. So I started to walk out, saw that they were on sale for, I think it was either 20 or 30% off. I did try to do the maths in my head, but my brain wasn't functioning because it was lunchtime and I was hungry. And I thought either way, 20 or 30% off, $130 is just, it's too much. So I left, but I took a photo of the tag and thought I'll look it up online just to see if it really was a pair because I couldn't find anybody to ask anyway. And when I found it online, not only were they reduced to $50, they were further reduced to $35 and that was for the both of them. And I figured that was the universe's sign saying that I needed to buy these baskets. So I did. I ordered them click and collect so I could pick them up locally and not have to carry them all the way back on the train. And that is how we get to here with the bargain baskets of the century. Finally got them separated. I figured maybe I could use this one to store like blankets and throws and stuff like that. Where's a Let's uh, do a little try try here. I'd always planned on getting one eventually. I hadn't really planned on it just yet, but since the universe told me I needed this basket, I guess that's going to be it. And then for this one, which is smaller, although I do really like this in the pink pot, so I may need to rethink this, but oh, one-handed, I thought this could go in here and even though it does look a bit too big, if I was to say, prop it up in there and then um, put some of that like, either some stones or some of that natural looking kind of fluff stuff, I'll show you guys when I get it because I don't know how to explain what it is, but something around the top just to fill it in a little bit that maybe that would work and look cute. I don't know, what do you think? I'm, I'm still undecided, but I will definitely find use hell. That could be a toilet paper basket. Who knows? We'll see. I'll make it work. But yeah, very happy with my bargains. I had a little more time to kill, so I just popped a couple of those cushion inserts from Spotlight into the cushions from H&M just to see how they would look. And I'm actually really happy with it. Again, this one's been, the camera's throwing it a funny color. It's probably because I've got lights on as well, but they actually all go together quite nicely, even the ones that I already had. The spotlight inserts fit perfectly. Probably still need to, to play around, zhuzh, I don't know. I still kind of like the idea of having a cushion with a little bit of black or like charcoal in it, just to um, give a little bit more contrast and ground it. But I am enjoying the way this all looks. And there's the throw as well. Expertly styled by myself right there. <laughs> I call that the chuck. Look what showed up yesterday. This is my first chance of getting to bring it over to the apartment. But inside we have something very useful. It is my kettle and toaster. As you can see, I've decided to go for a set or a matching pair from Sunbeam. Here 
we have the kettle and then I've actually set up the toaster over here. I would usually put like the kettle and toaster next to each other. That's how I've always had them whenever I've grown up. But I figure we've got the jug here, tea and coffee. It's next to the fridge with like water and there's glasses and mugs up here. So I figure that makes sense. And then for the toast, well, the plates are in here. So it's kind of easy access for the toaster. I don't know. I may change it up. I just you know, thought I'll give that a go. Maybe the kettle will end up over here. Who knows? But I really, really like this one. I was very happy to get these on sale. These are usually $99 each and they were down to $79 each. They have a nice like matte white finish with some black and um, chrome accents. And yeah, I just think nice, neutral. It will go uh, with this kitchen and who knows if they last that long another kitchen in the future I'll show you guys the boxes here just so if you're interested and of course like with everything I'll link it down below um, the Galleria from Sunbeam and I got this sky white color it did actually come in a black as well which I was interested in midnight black I cannot believe how expensive toasters and kettles can be like I was looking at some and they were $200 like each and then there were on the other side of the spectrum there were like $15 versions from Kmart or $40 versions from Kmart in the end I thought this was a nice mid-range price and um, hopefully they'll last me a decent amount of time but I'm happy to say that while I still don't have not have food I can now make toast toasted sandwiches and um, hot water so we're, we're getting better with this whole food thing in the apartment. Guys, I'm in a bit of a pickle. This is another episode of Rachel overanalyzes the smallest of details and is really stupid about it. In this episode, we're going to be talking about placemats again. So the other day I picked up these ones. If you will remember, they look very similar to these placemats. These are the Target placemats that I spoke about in my haul and I mentioned that they were a little bit too small. I mean, they fit the plate, but you couldn't see much of the placemat. There was definitely no room for cutlery or anything else. Then, while I was shopping in Woolworths of all places, doing some groceries, I spotted these. And one of you guys actually spotted these too and left me a note in my comments. So thank you so much. I'm, I love the fact that you guys are looking out for homewares for me. It's awesome. But anyway, these ones are from Woolworths. They are significantly bigger, as you can see, and they definitely fit the plate easily. There'd be room for cutlery. I don't even have any cutlery to show as an example, which is ridiculous. Um, what do I have in here? I have, oh, <laughs> look, I have some metal straws. Don't ask me why I have metal straws, but yet I do not have cutlery because that is just more of Rachel craziness. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's just pretend this is some cutlery. I'm thinking maybe some gold cutlery. I'm not 100% sure. Um, nothing too expensive, probably just like the Kmart or Target stuff, but I thought gold or brass would be nice. Maybe some rose gold. There you go. As you can see, see, would fit cutlery well. Looks nice. However, cannot fit my lovely little gray cement uh, tray that you would have seen that used to be there. It's currently over here uh, because there's just not quite enough room. So, do I leave it without the tray knowing that it's probably, these are more practical and I would potentially put like some salt and pepper shakers here instead. I would really like the, um, the white and like gray ones that I think Aldi had a while ago. They've had a few times. I see them styled all the time on people's pretty tables on Instagram. If you know what I'm talking about, if you're in Australia and have those like pretty kind of Aldi, Scandi salt and pepper grinders, High five, let me know that you've got them. I'm, I'm slightly jealous, but anyway, let's pretend that there'd be like salt and pepper shakers there. I probably don't need the metal, I mean the cement tray. So I guess what I'm saying is, should I keep the big ones, even though they were $6 each, which I find was expensive, and should I return the Target ones because the returns period is about to expire? The other part of me says, you know what, it's, these are two bucks each. It's it's eight dollars. Why return them? But at the same time, I know that money is tight for me right now, and I wanted to kind of keep it real in these videos because I also know that for a lot of people, if you're watching apartment videos or home videos on YouTube, a lot of the time they just 
go up amazingly quickly like they have their entire place decked out and it's not just they have it decked out perfectly it's decked out in really expensive furniture it's all like west elm like i would love that trust me i'm going to west elm at some point for this apartment but it'll be for small things and it will probably be in a long time um like i just i couldn't afford I, if i could i would deck out this whole place in west elm but i can't afford it it's just not it's not real life for most people so that is why i'm here talking to you guys about whether or not i should return eight dollars worth of placements <laughs> i think i will but i think i'm going to um i do have something else that i wanted to get from target which is just a uh like a soap dispenser and a cup or something for my bathroom so I think I'll take these back. I do really like them and you know what? If they're still there in the future, I may rebuy them because I thought I could use them for pots maybe, but then do I need four? Is that a waste? Do I need them right now? Is it a practical purchase? Or I could have used them for outside um, on the balcony. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to return those. I'm happy that I found bigger ones even if they were overpriced. What are you doing, Woolies? These should be like four bucks max. Anyway. That is what I'm gonna run off and do, but before I do, getting darker, let's just quickly show you one other update that I have. Um, my sister and uh, her fiance Rob were really nice and got me some towels as a housewarming kind of present. So these are it, they're from um, Sheridan and I've got like two of the towels and I've got a hand towel and I actually have a floor towel which is quite large so it's in the other other room um, bathroom at the moment sort of as a bit of a hand towel but I thought this was quite a nice color I'm really not sure what I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna maybe look for white or gray or even like charcoal uh, towels as well to kind of accent but I just wanted to say thanks so much guys for the towels I love them I didn't expect that at all but it was really really nice of them and they're really pretty like mauvey pink color but neutral enough that I think I could mix them with gray or something else and they're just look nice i think that's it for my updates i need to duck off to target before they close so i'll see you guys later homeless target actually have some really nice stuff at the moment there are my chairs uh bathroom stuff oh that's a nice color this is what i'm thinking but i really like the idea of the amber glass and that and maybe even that matte black even this is quite cute, but I like how neutral this is and kind of apothecary-like, really old school. And it could work in the guest bathroom as well if I decide that I want to do something different later. I think I'm going to get it. And these chocolates because I need to, to stock the apartment with snacks. All done. Here we are. Now you can see them in situ. The camera doesn't pick them up that well. You, they actually definitely have kind of that browny amber look to them in real life and then i have the container which will probably be for either uh like cotton tips or cotton rounds i tend to need both so maybe i should have got two but we'll just go with the one for now i really like it something different for me but i'm trying to branch out a bit and the matte black top matches the matte black toilet brush so i'm happy that i can still be a bit matchy matchy <laughs> My snack jar is now all sorted and topped up too. And I have a few extras, so they're coming home with me. <laughs> Guys, the FedEx man is here with my rug. Oh, so excited. Hi. Hello, I've got some powder for you. Yes. And you your name's Rachel, obviously. Yep. <laughs> Would you need a hand with it? Um. Can I for you? Sure. You just want to like, you just sort of stick it here, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, you too. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> here we have my rug. I'm currently working from home, but as soon as I get the chance and I'm all done with work, take this over to the apartment and see what it looks like it's actually longer than i thought but no that's right right Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> I was worried that it wouldn't fit in my car, but mum and I managed to squeeze it in <laughs> by bringing it all the way in the front. <laughs> See, it just fits. I got a rug. <laughs> I really like it. So the brand is New Loom and on Overstock it was called the Moroccan Trellis Rug, but I'll put an exact link to it. This is the eight by 10 foot one. And eventually it will go up underneath the lounge a bit. You can see where these blue dots are. So that will be where the corner sits. And that one down there will be where the other corner sits. But it's just like a light, a kind of off-white, really either a really pale grey or an off-white kind of colour with then a, a lightish grey pattern in it that's slightly distressed, which I like too because then if it gets more distressed or a little bit dirty or whatever, it's going to wear quite well. And it's a low pile. It's not made to be super soft and squidgy. It's mainly just to add a bit of texture and feel a bit nice under your feet and sort of separate out that living space and the dining space that I have going on over here but there it is ah, I love it oh. <laughs> okay so I think that will be the end of this vlog I have put so many clips together I'm sure it's over 20 minutes long but I hope you've enjoyed seeing the updates I will definitely do an update soon when the rug is all positioned so you can see how it is all looking I'm currently laying on it right now it's very comfy um, but yeah that's it from me I will talk to you guys all in the next one bye